The Jewish New Year begins Sunday night. Rosh Hashanah is two days long and celebrates the creation of the world. And as CBS 2's Lisa Rosner shows us, some New Yorkers are creating new experiences to celebrate seeing more family and friends again in person. It's kind of like a Jewish meatball. But it's actually stuffed cabbage, a signature dish Mark Straussman's grandmother always made on Rosh Hashanah. It has the raisins in it, the rice is in it. There's also raisins in the sauce, so we want it nice and sweet. Sweet for a sweet Jewish New Year ahead. Straussman, who grew up in Flushing, Queens, felt a calling to tweak his family's recipes after years of training in the fine dining world at five-star hotels across Europe. And to pay homage to my parents for what they did, they sacrificed. My mother bought the plane ticket for me to go to Europe to work. On Sunday and Monday for the 30th year, Straussman will churn out 20 stuffed cabbages at a time, briskets, chicken soup, homemade macaroons, and even bagels for other families to enjoy from his restaurant, Mark's Off Madison. It's all about food, and that's what unites us as human beings, is our palates, not our differences. It is tradition to take apples and dip it in honey, again signifying the hope for a sweet new year. But chef and Woodmere resident Naomi Nachman is giving families ideas on kosher.com to switch up the sweetness this year. You can like make it a little bit trendier by making it with sprinkles. And then of course fruit, little, little dip some honey and some fruit makes everything pop. You can infuse it in your tea, you can incorporate it into your cakes. Manischewitz has made apple butter and pre-made Geffen apple cake, but date products are also popular. I happen to use a lot of the date syrup in some of my marinades in place of honey. It just adds a really like deeper, richer flavor. Nachman says dates are known as a simon, in Hebrew meaning a sign. It's for extra luck during the year, as well as leeks, pomegranates. So just incorporate in that. A lot of people even eat fish heads. And right now here at Bread's Bakery, thousands of these apple halas are being made every day. This year we really went all out with a full baked apple inside the challah. During this time the challah goes from sort of a straight loaf to a round loaf and the apple challah is round and it's this idea of coming back to this place again which is the beginning of the year. Only for the high holy day period which lasts 10 days Rosh Hashanah through Yom Kippur does the bakery sell its apple challah and honey made by worker bees on a roof in Union Square. And all the honey cakes and the safta cake and the honey, everything that you're seeing here is specially for Rosh Hashanah. It comes, it goes, and like around Hala, it'll be back again next year. We all wish each other a Shana Tova Umetuka, means a happy and a sweet new year. A message of hope, of sweetness, and of better things to come. In Union Square, Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News. And Lisa joins me now. What a great reporting job. Thank you. Fun, right? It's a tough job, but somebody's got to do it. And you brought some products in with you. Yes, everyone in the piece wants you to enjoy the sweet new year as well, Cindy. <laughs> so let me just tell you some of yeah. the traditions. So this is a centerpiece challah here from Bread's Bakery. Uh, these little uh, metal areas here, they can hold honey, salt. Mm -hmm. Everyone can get a little bit of sweetness for the new year with that challah. Also, you know Bread's makes chocolate babka. Yes, well, that's what they're famous for. Yes, <laughs> but now they have apple babka, oh. which you see all the way in the front, mm -hmm. and in front of that is banana chocolate chip. Um, Can I, I'm going to say that's the one I'm going to grab. Is that okay? I, I wouldn't blame you. I grabbed that first too. But, you know, I'll have apples and honey later. Yes, it's all yes, good. Yes. Um, and then the apple challah is in this, uh, apple babka rather, mm -hmm. is, no, it is apple challah. See, there's so many good things. I'm forgetting what they're all called. <laughs> but um, this was amazing, this apple uh, challah right here. Mm -hmm. There's a full apple in the center. And it's just wrapped with uh, bread and they weaved in apples and cinnamon and honey that they make on their roof uh, in Union Square. Okay, I'm just, so, you know, I was attempting to show it, but um, anyway, okay. so why don't we try, and what's going on here? Okay, and these are, so you heard Naomi mention how we can have honey, but we can also have dates. Mm -hmm. So Manashevitz uh, has some date syrup, uh, date sugar, 
they have their famous honey bear, mm. very cute all year round. The honey is good and apple butter. Um, and then, you know, we're going to fast forward a little bit mm -hmm. to Yom Kippur 10 mm -hmm. days from now. And Jews typically fast for 24 hours. It's a way to cleanse the spirit. And afterwards, we eat bagels and lox. So Mark's, <laughs> Mark from Mark's Off Madison sent us his homemade uh, bagels. They're handmade. He makes wow. them every day. Um, and it's really, you know, we know we love our bagels year round, but especially on Yom Kippur. All right. Now, I know there was a lot more content that you weren't able to include in your story. Yes, that is right. So we got a behind the scenes look at how the apple challah is made. Mm. And we are putting that on CBSNewYork.com. Uh, you can also see how they make the magic happen on uh, channel uh, 400. Sorry, I'm losing track of all the places <laughs> where you okay. can find us. Um, so CBSNewYork.com or also on Pluto TV. And um, these products right here, mm -hmm. Naomi Nachman, very creative cookbook author and chef. Uh, she showed us different ways that you can use the honey on Rosh Hashanah with your kids, with the family, uh, as well as the date syrup. So really exciting stuff. If you want to switch it up this year for Rosh Hashanah, we've got some great tips. Lisa, thank you so much. Yes, thank you, Cindy. I can't wait to dig in. All right.